We're spending a late summer day here at Frampton Marsh today. After a period of fairly autumnal weather, it's actually a nice warm day today. And we're in the reed bed hide at the moment. There's lots of sand martins swooping around. Uh, they didn't use the sand martin bank this year though. Just scanning around, not much on view at the moment. Uh, Canada geese and grey herons. But this is much more like it. These are spoonbill. These are the first spoonbills that I've seen in must be around four years at least. They're certainly not very common. There's maybe four breeding pairs in the UK and 20 birds winter here. Most of them fly south for the winter. This is looking out from the opposite side of the reed bed hide across the scrape and there's a mass of birds down there. They look like godwit. Can't tell if they're bar-tailed or black-tailed. And, uh, Another flock of birds has just gone up. Maybe there's a peregrine around and the godwit are up now. Unmistakable in flight. But there's uh, some smaller birds down there too. And uh, I can't quite tell from here what they are. But there's certainly uh, a lot of them. I think we're going to move from the reed bed hide. And make our way down to the uh, 360 degree hide try and get a closer look. Well we had the reed bed hide to ourselves but not so this one, it's uh, quite busy in here. This hide looks out over a large scrape area. There's a lot of sand martins on view from here too, nice to get a shot of them actually perching. It's hard to believe that this summer is almost over and most of them will be flying south uh, in a short while. Well, we came to the 360 degree hide to try and get a closer look at the waders and the smaller birds were actually dunlin. And there's the huge flock of hundreds of godwit. Still not sure whether they're bar-tailed or black-tailed, that's a little bit distant. But this is certainly the best view of dunlin I've had in a long time. Certainly haven't seen this many altogether. Never seen this many at uh, Frampton Marsh either. And mixed in with them there's some young uh, ring plovers, like juveniles. Dunlin can be found all around the UK coastline and on estuaries and around 360,000 birds winter here in the UK. Looking a little bit further out we've got a green shank just walking across there it's the first green shank this year I think at least here's a better view of a godwit still not 100% certain whether it's a bar-tailed or a black-tailed you can tell when they fly because the bar-tailed have bars on their tail we're getting excellent views of little egret now fishing where they move their leg very rapidly to stir up the silt and disturb any potential prey. Most of the time we come out filming uh, where there's water we'll see these birds but uh, it's really nice to see them so close. They were once quite a rare visitor to the UK but there's between 660 and 740 pairs that breed in the UK now and around 4,500 winter here. Also getting good views of uh, young Pied wagtails. Yellow wagtails have been spotted here, but we haven't seen any. This is a grey wagtail. Sometimes confusing because they actually have yellow breast feathers. Looking further out again, it's got a, a shell duck. I think it's a young one. Also a few avocet dotted here and there. A cormorant dries its wings, and this is a rough. Frampton Marsh is a good place to see rough. Also, fairly close views of lapwings too. Well, this is a mute swan, but uh, there's something you don't expect to see in the summer: a hooper swan. Apparently, it's got an injured wing, so it couldn't fly back to its breeding grounds. And last but not least, a red shank. 
Well, what an excellent day it's been here at Frampton Marsh. We're going to head back to the car park and try and get a better view of the spoonbills. And indeed, there we are. A better, closer view of these uh, quite rare birds. And I'll see you next time.